Um, I would say even right now winning a WTA title with my friend in France it was something because it was it wasn't just a final a good uh, performance we actually won a WTA so it was really nice. Well, first of all, I'd like to be back in top 100 in singles, and uh, from there on, I think uh, I have a potential to be much better. I, it's not always easy to say how far you can go, but I would really achieve my potential. Mm. Oh, there are lots of things that gotta be good. You gotta have a good team surra surrounding you with the good conditions they have to be there for you every day and it's, it's really important uh, then you got to be very disciplined to give everything from yourself every day because uh, you can't just work once or twice it, it has to be every single day every time you spend on the court a hundred percent or more of you and yeah There are always going to be people who are better than you and who are worse than you. That's part of the game, that's part of the tennis business. So uh, everyone is trying their best as they can. Yes, the life is not easy because you have to sacrifice and invest a lot. And also depending on that, uh, your results can be. But um, as I said earlier, it's uh, just really up to you how hard you try every day. Then you see how far you can go. Yes, uh, I think team and family is the, are two important things because uh, if you look at uh, any pro tennis player starting top 50, they all have uh, their fitness coach, tennis coach, physio, and everyone is trying to do their best in order to help the player without this key, maybe it's, it takes 80-85% uh, from the player, but the rest is the, his team. Yeah, um, the atmosphere is amazing. Every time coming here, I feel like I'm home, <laughs> to be honest. I, uh, I, love, uh, I love the sea, I feel the energy. I like the support from people around because everyone is super friendly and trying to do their best, so that's very important. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Sure.